Imagine something. Imagine we're all in a war bunker and it's got limited spaces. The outside, we've got hundreds and hundreds of people begging to come in, slamming on the doors, saying, we will do anything. Who do we let in? Do we open the door and let everyone in? Or would that actually break the bunker and mean all of us die? Does that mean we only let in the women and children? Or is that unfair to the men as well? Because surely they can provide something as well. It is a really, really difficult dilemma. So with this in mind, I think we all have the one answer which is universal, which is not have an open door to let absolutely everyone in. However, it still remains difficult how we regulate this. So, I want to talk about something which has been drummed into a lot of people. And that is that immigration is a completely positive thing for this country. <laughs> so with this in mind, we've seen studies. We've seen studies that say immigrants from the European Union contribute more to the welfare state than they take. We have seen studies that say immigrants do not take up jobs. They merely replace the people that can't be bothered to do it. Now, as an 18-year-old myself, and a 22% unemployment bracket of people my age, I can say that is nonsense. Young people like myself are clawing anything, anything at all, whether it be cleaning toilets, whether it be working in McDonald's. I didn't think it was any disrespect at all. But people who come up with these myths about, oh, you know, young people are picky, these people are picky, it's absolutely ludicrous. It is not the case and shouldn't be tolerated, in my opinion. So, with this in mind, to these people who say they contribute more, I want to ask them one question. How do you measure the unmeasurable? How do you measure the waiting increases for the NHS, the strain on the NHS, the unemployment? How many people nowadays are dying on the waiting list? I went to the GP not so long ago, and the head of the department said to me, we've been allocated four minutes per patient. Four minutes to figure out what is wrong with you. How many cases do we see in this country where things have been missed? If only it had been spotted sooner. Well, my answer is simply that immigration has not helped and increases to fundamentally <coughs> ruin the system. So with this in mind, how does it affect you guys? Now, whether you're from a rich background, poor background, middle class background, any background you want, 